Uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, we're going to uh, continue our study about uh, fellowship with the Father and with the Mashiach. Um, and I will read from uh, 1 John uh, chapter, or Yahu Kanan, uh, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Uh, or actually, verse, chapter, verse 2 and 3. Uh, for the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness and show unto you that, e that eternal life which was with the Father was manifested unto us. Now think about this for a moment, what he's saying right here. He's saying that for the life was manifested and we have seen it and bear witness and show unto you that eternal life. Now he's, he's describing what life he's talking about. And uh, one thing I want to point out here is that um, eternal life is not a lot of people think when they think in terms of eternal life they, they just think of living forever or never dying and of course that's involved in that but that's not really what eternal life is eternal life actually is the uh, the ruach is the, is, the, is the nature of Yahuwah it is what Adam lost in, in his fall in the garden when Yahuwah told him that they could eat of any tree in the garden except there was one particular one that they were not to eat of and it was the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. There's a whole lot that can be said about that but I, I don't want to get into that. But um, we know that Yahuwah told them that the, if you do, if you eat of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil on that day you shall surely die. Now we know that Unfortunately, that Adam uh, did partake of the tree and ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and because of that, he died. And Yahuwah said that on that day you shall die. Now we know that physical death is simply a a, a result of spiritual death because spiritual death actually happened first in Adam. And on that day he ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He actually did die. Now he didn't die physically for about 900 years later. But the death process had begun because life was removed from him. The spirit, the ruach, uh, had, was no longer in Adam. He no longer could have fellowship with the Father the way that he had fellowship with him before. See, this is important. This is why when we understand not only what happened in the fall, but what Yahushua, the Mashiach, came to restore unto, unto lost man was to, that he could have fellowship again with the Father. And that's what he's talking about here. He's getting ready to say that, and he, let me finish reading this. And he says that, and we showed you that eternal life was, which was with the Father was manifested or made known to us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that you also may have fellowship with us and with the Father and with the Son, Yahushua HaMashiach. <laughs> See, we can have fellowship one with another. See, I can have, if you're a believer... I can have fellowship with you that's very unique. You know, I desire to be uh, and to have fellowship with other believers. And I know that you also get the same satisfaction and fulfillment by being around other believers. That you have fellowship because we have something in common. Not only that we have something in common, but there's a love there. There's a, um, you know, it's just a connection there that we can fellowship one with another because we were created to have fellowship, not only with one another, but with our with the Father, with the Creator. And so He came, to, the, the Mashiach came to restore that fellowship and to give us that life that, that we no longer had. So, with that said, I'm going to have to pick up on our next session and uh, I encourage you to, to be listening in. And until then, Shalom.